So for some reason, I went to my Facetune. I don't know why I went to that app, but let me know if you guys want to see how I edit my actual photos. So to do my YouTube thumbnails, I use the app Canvas. And if you just go to the app and scroll down, it actually gives you YouTube thumbnail size photos to actually go by. So first, I just start off with deleting everything that's on the original, um, you know, photo that they give you. And then I go in and put in my own photos. Now, I like to use photos that you can really see what I'm doing. So whatever the video is based on, I like to use photos that you can clearly see that, you know, in the flesh. And if my face is in the photo, I do like to use a photo that my makeup looks good because even if it's not a makeup related video, I just feel like that's a good touch and you want people to see, yeah, she's pretty, she's slaying, yes, girl, yes, do it, do it, do it. So then I just go and I start adjusting the photos to how I want them to look in my thumbnail. It's really important to have the photos that you're using as zoomed in as possible. And if you're using text, it's important to have them kind of spaced out how you guys see I'm doing because you like for your text to have kind of a clear as possible background so that your text can be easily read. A lot of the times I have gotten to the point where I like to use a white text because I think it just makes the photo look so just classic. I love looking at other YouTubers thumbnails when they just have that pretty white text. So here is my finished photos and now I'm starting my text. So they have a little plus sign at the bottom and that's where you add um, your text. So you'll go to the plus sign then where you see the text just add that. Then it will give you a box to just start going to town. Now I do do my text in different um, text boxes I should say because I like for them to be different sizes and different colors, different fonts. So to me I've just found it easier when I actually do them in different text boxes and so when I'm moving them around I can move them around in different spots without moving the whole text if that makes sense. So now I'm just doing the second thing I'm adding my second text box and now I'm changing the font. Now I always try to find a word to stick out in my title and this one was slay because I mean who doesn't use that word? <laughs> so I wanted this word to really stick out because like I said this is a synthetic wig that I'm talking about in this video so I wanted you to know that you can slay this synthetic wig and I really want that to speak out. So now I'm just going back and I'm just pretty much moving my text like I said I like to do and if you guys can see how much easier it makes it look that I'm moving them text box by text box. Then I'm adding my third text box which is going to be pretty much what the video consists of. So you can say how to slay my makeup, how to slay your brows. But in this video, I'm talking about how to slay a synthetic wig. So a lot of people think, oh my gosh, your wig is so synthetic, you know, like it looks cheap. No, no, boo-boo. This is going to be a really nice looking wig. And I want you to know that I'm about to slay it. So if you guys notice, I did not put a synthetic wig in my title but you guys will see a little bit further in the video what I did to switch that. So then since I wanted Slay to stick out a little more, <coughs> excuse me, I added the color to a uh, yellow to pop a little bit more. I wanted it to still be a fallish kind of yellow but I really liked this mustard looking yellow color. So now I'm just kind of spacing everything out and just doing what I do and then I'm playing around with my photos again just kind of making sure do I want it on the left do I want it on the right do I want it in the center and I usually typically tend to um stick with the center so then I went and saved that it's just a little box if you guys see me tap that at the top it's a little box that you go to save that and then I take it to Instagram because I've noticed that 
when you do it just emailing that photo from canvas it's not the correct size so I have to go and edit it in Instagram then I take it and email it to myself which I actually like because I can actually throw some Instagram not even filters just highlights low lights stuff like that just to make my face in the back pop more which ultimately makes the letters in your text pop more So then I'm just going and cropping that photo, just like I said, and I'm just going to crop that, just cropping that as the original photo, and then I'm going to go into that little arrow down there and send it as a normal attachment that you would do in an email. So I'm just sending that on to my email, and that was my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one.